Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I thought that was gonna be better than last week, but it literally was on par the same, if not worse. Anyway, in this week's review, we're going to be testing out the Beauty Bay's own new brow collection. There are a couple of products within this collection. I think I have all of them. I'm pretty sure I do. So I have here the brow soap. I also have the brow fixer, as well as the eyebrow pencil, and some of the spoolies as well. So, this is what my brows are looking like right now. There's nothing really on them. I just kind of brushed them because I did the rest of my makeup, not realizing I was gonna do this video today. So this is what they're looking like. There's pretty much nothing in them. As you can see, they're like, relatively full but yeah they're quite sparse at the front and at the ends the middle bit's all right though like my brows have grown out quite well same with here very sparse in the ends sparse at the front thick with three c's in the middle so yeah that's what we're going to be doing in this video today make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this as well as turn your notifications on to be told every time i post as well as follow me on my social media accounts instagram twitter and tiktok to keep up to date with everything i'm doing god i'm sweating so the first product we're going to be trying out is the brow soap this retails for seven pounds on the beauty bay website i'm not going to lie to you the um the actual contents of the product looks like a pretty clear, like opaque -y kind of formula. In you can barely see it inside the tub. It's kind of a bit wild. Packaging, plastic top, lightweight, reflect, just nice and clear and crisp. That's what we like to see. Also, to go with this product as well, I bought some of the spoolies. So much better than plastic. Like you could potentially recycle them if you pull this bit off of this bit. On the back of the packaging, it literally just says a spray soap with water, facial mist, or a setting spray. Okay, I need to get some of that. Using spoolie, brush the soap through the brows to style. One thing it doesn't specify is whether you do this before or after your makeup. So yeah, I've popped on the screen what my brows look like before I get started. I've just got some of this like Mario Badesco facial spray, which I don't really like this flavour because it's lavender. The little spritz of the spray onto there. You can see the tub is not empty. I'm just kind of scraping away at it. Just literally rubbing into it to kind of like, I don't wanna say lather it up because it's not like I'm trying to wash my hands. I liked the consistency being a bit thicker. I'm brushing up the brows. Let's have a look and see whether or not I can get that laminated look without ruining my eyebrow hairs or more should I say the makeup around my eyebrow hairs so far so good the brows are brushing up makeup looks intact around you can see the lift that my brow has already got I think it needs to be slightly damper than that or I need to work quicker I'm not really sure but so far so good I'm quite impressed I like when my brows look a little bit more wild as well because I've got a big ass forehead I like my brows to be a bit on the bigger side just brushing it through into the shape I want and then kind of like going across the top and brushing it down into shape. I have to say my, just from looking at it in the viewfinder very briefly and in this mirror down here, my brows look a bit more sparse than they did before just cause they're obviously like moving around and out and up into ways that they wouldn't normally, but they look thicker, like bushier. My forehead looks smaller. This is brow number one, as you can see it. Nice bushy laminated effect compared to this one. She's cute, but like, this is cuter. It's just been a couple of seconds and it's still kind of tacky. Brushing up at the front of my brows just to kind of like make them look a little bit more rather than, you know? I'm just gonna do brow number two a bit closer up. As you can see, I'm just brushing the majority of the product like through the front of my brows because that's where I want it to stick up the most. And then brushing them outwards just to kind of give them that more fuller, spiky laminated effect. It's definitely doing a good job though. My brows look really nice and full. Now that I've done the second brow, the first brow has completely set. It settled down quite firm. I really like the way that it looks. It didn't really brush away too much of my makeup. I think you need to just get a happy medium. Okay, so now that you've seen what my brows look like with the soap alone, I'm gonna go in and try and fill in some of the sparser areas using the, using the brow pencil. Abra freaking Kadabra. <laughs> so the shade of brow pencil I have here is brownie, just cause normally I'd go a bit lighter, but because my hair is so dark now, all the brow pencils and stuff that I have are just far too light for my brows and they just look a little bit odd. You turn it and then the brow product comes out. So zooming you guys in a little, I'm just gonna brush through. The pencil's kind of hard and it's just like, 
mashing up with the soap brow maybe i wouldn't use these two products together but as you can see it's kind of like mashed them up a little bit it doesn't look too bad these are the swatches on the back of my hand that i did of brownie the pencil is quite firm but it has a lot of color payoff use the brow pencil to move the brow hairs back to where i want them to go yeah so the soap isn't completely hardened maybe i need to wait a little bit longer my brow looks completely different to the other one. Might be better off using like a pomade or something if you use the soap. Like I said, not sure if these products are meant to go together, but now my brow is completely flat to my face. I'm just going to do again on this brow. Unfortunately, the same thing's kind of happening where it's just smushing into the brow rather than... Then my brows still do look cute. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm, some people like that. I mean, for a more dramatic brow... That could be quite cute, you know. Okie dokie. So the last product we have. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price of the other stuff. Sorry, I'm such a bad person. So the brow pencil was £5 exactly from Beauty Bay and the spoolies, a set of five, was £2. Last but not least, we have the Fixer Fiber Gel in the shade Smoke. This retailed for £5.50. This is supposed to be basically like a brow setter that has fibres in it to help thicken up your brows. This kind of product was really good to help you grow out your brows. You're not putting too much force on them in the way of like say if you had um, a brow pencil and you're brushing through them you are way more likely to lose hairs because you're brushing through and putting force into it because obviously you're trying to draw onto the skin rather than on the brows but that means that you're like pulling them out that was one thing that I was noticing when I was using a lot of like heavier brow products on my brows is I was losing so much and it was really hard to get them to grow out thicker yeah so I was using that a lot and it literally saved my brow game so if you are thinking about trying to grow out your brows I'm just going for a more natural look like it may take a while but you need to persevere if you want to grow your brows like you need to leave them alone brow fixing gel is the thing for you 100% would recommend one of my top tips for growing up my brows so I'm hoping that this is going to fix the whole flat brow thing I also want to see how many fibers there are when it oh okay so this is the swatch here of the brow gel as you can see it's quite a thick in consistency it's quite pigmented there are a couple of like fibers in there I'm not sure if you can see them but I definitely can on the back of my hand and on the corner of this tube. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I have the shade Smoke. It is kind of like quite an ashy brown, like one of the darker ones, if not the darkest. This has definitely helped bring my brows from 2D back to 3D for sure. And I've just used the, the excess, what is left on the tip of the brush, to fill in the front of my brows. And I think it's done a pretty good job if you ask me. Like, look how much higher this brow looks compared to this one. It looks like I'm going like this. My brow looks fuller. I actually think I prefer this to the brow pencil. I think potentially what I would do in the future is maybe soap up my brows and then use the brow fibre gel to like fill them in again because I actually really like the way this looks. Like I said it brings the brow back to life if you maybe fluffed it a little bit and pressed down too hard, maybe use a bit too much product. I'm loving the way that this looks. Also the gel is so pigmented that it just fills in the gaps like quite naturally. So to recap, the brow soap that we have right here, affordable, really like the consistency. I like the fact that it's clear, it doesn't, it has like a very light scent to it. Nice packaging, it's just cute, like the consistency was great, obviously make sure you have a couple of practices just to try it out so you can see what really works for your brows. You may not need as much product if you have more of a sparse brow than I do or you might need a bit more product if you have way more of a thicker brow than I do. If you're maybe looking to try a soap brow and you don't want to go in for literal soap, this might be a good thing. Next up, the eyebrow pencil. This is one that I wasn't so keen on just because it didn't go well with the soap brow. For me personally, I would love to use this on a day-to-day -day basis like if I'm doing like an everyday makeup when I'm going to work and stuff, I wouldn't necessarily do a soap brow just for work who am i doing a soapy brow for like i don't need to do that i have no one to impress there no offense to people that work at my work but yeah i definitely use this for just like an everyday kind of thing just like a quick fill in the tails of my brows maybe just draw a little line on the bottom and then like blend it in nothing too major but I just don't feel like this product and the soap brow kind of mesh together that well I'd more recommend that you use kind of like a fiber filling pen or something that would fill not like an actual pen like a brow pen is what I'm saying the spoolies kind of speak for themselves maybe should have spoken about the spoolies straight after the soap brow they're sturdy they have the disposable like easy recycle handles 100% I'd recommend that you help do your bit and save the planet even if it's just the smallest bit by doing things like washing these instead of just throwing them away and getting a new one all there's on there is soap literally all you have to do is literally get some water dissolve it in your fingers and it's soap so it's like basically good to go again the brow 
Fixing Gel. I really, 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 really like this. Not only did it save my brows from the slight catastrophe I had with the brow pencil, it also thickened my brows and helped to move them back to where they wanted to be. It was like a 2D situation. Now it's a 3D, back to the way I want it to. My brows do not look like they are stuck to my face with sellotape. The gel formula as well is very pigmented, which really helps like get in between your brow hairs and kind of like if you brush it onto your skin, it will kind of leave those little lines. It's a very small, precise bristle as well for the wand. Helps you really get in there if you want to and just kind of like fill out your brows. As you can see, they're looking cute. I love them. Also as well, super affordable. There's a good shade range. So yeah, really quite enjoyed using these products. I also love the actual boxes that the stuff comes in as well because it's got this like thing where it's slightly raised so when you get it on the light it like moves up and down also says brows 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 in the background so that is it for this week's video testing out the beauty bay's own brow products if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did it really helps me out a lot of course as always i will leave links in the description to all of these products that i've tried out for you today in case you want to test them for yourself along with my social media so if you have not already make sure you follow me on my instagram twitter and my tiktok all of that good stuff also as well if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it subscribe to this channel but don't forget to turn on your notifications to be told every time i post also if you want to double make sure you don't miss out on the next video turn on my notifications on instagram as i always tell you on there when i'm going to be posting thank you again so much for watching this week's video and i will see you next time for another one bye oh also have you seen my new nails look at how cute we love the witchy vibes on this channel